Combiner boxes are used in photovoltaic arrays to combine multiple strings of modules or to wire modules in parallel in a low voltage system such as 24, 12, or 48 volt systems. There are multiple size combiner boxes. Here's a larger combiner box that might be used in a commercial system. There's a spot for DIN rail mounted uh, breakers or tip out fuse holders. Depending on your application, you might use a breaker for a lower voltage system. Most uh, breakers are rated for either 125 volts DC or 150 volts DC. In a grid tie application, you'll experience voltages up to 600 volts DC. Those mount on a DIN rail such as this. We have our PV negative bus bar and our ground lug to be able to uh, parallel all of our um, strings together on the negative side. For small systems and at Appalachian State we use the Midnight Solar MNPV3 combiner box. This combiner box allows for uh, the parallel combination of up to three strings of photovoltaic power. These breakers are rated to 150 volts so it may not be appropriate for high voltage grid tie systems, but for lower voltage systems, a combiner box like this works great. This is our Midnight MN PV3 combiner box. I'm gonna start wiring it up. I've already put a lightning arrestor in this combiner box and landed the ground on the ground bus bar, the negative on the negative bus bar, and we still have our positive free here, which will be combined with uh, two breakers here, one breaker for each photovoltaic string, and a um, breaker uh, combiner rail. These breakers attach to the combiner rail in such a way, and then we'll tighten these down. Put our breakers on our DIN rail, clip them into the DIN rail, and land our lightning arrestor positive on the positive of the DIN rail. This will be wired in parallel with the photovoltaic array to capture uh, any excess current from a lightning strike. And we'll begin by bringing our first array or module into the combiner box. This wire needs to be sized to carry the current, uh, the short circuit current of the module that you'll be installing in your array. And now the incoming PV current from these two strings will be paralleled on this paralleling bar we have our large positive wire which will go back to your batteries or load center. The next step in this array will be putting the PV negative strings on the PV negative bus bar. Once your PV negative is landed on your PV negative bus bar in your combiner box, you're now ready to attach your main negative that carries the combined currents of both strings or modules back to the batteries or building in a grid tie application. The next step will be integrating the equipment ground from the photovoltaic array which grounds the module frames and rails and any other metal racking components into the combiner box grounding bus bar. And this is the completed wiring for the combiner box that allows you to integrate multiple strings of grid tie array or parallel multiple low voltage modules in a battery based system. The combiner boxes come with a faceplate that you'll install over your breakers as well as a weather tight lid that will keep your electrical components out of the rain and dust.